All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a... We haven't a name for this show, so we'll just call it The Stack. It's kind of like within the instant speed world. Whatever. I'm Flake. I got Brian Gottlieb here. Can you believe it? Incredible. This is amazing. I believe it. I, I believe it with all my heart. Well, that's all you need, really, frankly. And, you know, when it comes down to it, all the planeteers, there was Earth, Wind, Fire, uh, Water, and Heart. Um, and I'm a firm believer that Heart was, in fact... The worst one you could have. Like, it was so bad that they gave the dude who had the heart ring, like, a monkey sidekick. They're you like... You get a monkey. I, I still say the heart was underrated. Like, I actually think it's the, the shoddy craftsman that blames the tool. And should the person who had the heart ring be a little bit more creative, could have done a lot more with it, I believe. It was pure garbage. Uh, okay, so <laughs> this... Today is uh, May 9th, 2022. We're literally... It's Monday. We're... Five days away, four days away from Pro Tour, and I'm recording a whole bunch of content that you guys will see while I'm away, while we're all away, while Brian and I are going to be sitting next to each other, you know, waxing poetic about the game that we all love. This is called The Stack. It's a little bit of a game that I've devised that probably is stolen from many other outlets out there, but basically, Brian, I'm going to give you a, I'm going to give you something on The Stack, and you got to tell me whether it resolves or it fizzles, meaning you either agree with it, it's good, or uh-uh jam and counter that bad boy so you ready to you ready to play the stack yeah i i'm in my wheelhouse right now just loaded up with a fistful of counters ready to go love it uh you are nestled within your mahogany fortress i can see it it's beautiful uh yeah some some upgrades it's since the last time i've been on i put in some new shelves behind me you can see some of my board game collection displayed now so i could just imagine like the trees all around your place must look at your house like a like a like it's a house of horrors Her. Yeah. Yes, they're in constant terror. Although the woodpeckers and squirrels love it. They're all about it. Dude, yep. it's like building a house made out of pizza. Like, it's mm -hmm. just, it's like I'd live in that. That's what uh, my next house will be. <laughs> all right, the stack. Uh, so your first, your first order of business on the stack is one of either Katsu, Lexi, or Dash will be in the top eight at the Pro Tour. Ooh, uh, it resolves. It resolves. And uh, there's only really one of these heroes I think has the potential to do this. It's Lexi. I, th I think Lexi has a lot of adaptation in her kit. She can kind of prepare for any metagame. She doesn't have tools to answer everything, but if she knows exactly what she's up against, you could really put something together. The exception to that was really Starvo. Like Starvo's just kind of pushed, overpowered. Lexi couldn't really find any footing against that deck. But you take it down a few pegs, you make Starvo account for some other things. I start to believe in Lexi again. I, I think Lexi has legs in this format and one Lexi in the top eight would not shock me. Uh, me neither. I think that that's a, I think that's a fair assessment. I think that Lexi with her kit, like you mentioned, uh, flexible. So a good Lexi player, I think can pull it off and get there. I don't think they're gonna win, but they'll definitely sneak in. Uh, next one is Brian Gottlieb will make a 90s reference that Flake will not catch. This certainly resolves. I mean, there's n uh, now that I know it's my goal, I'm definitely going to get one by you, if not multiple. It might just be what I do all day, honestly. I'm telling you, I'm going to put up the deflector screen big time because I ain't letting anything pass me here. Good uh, luck. I think Good so. Luck. Yeah, uh, I mean... I'm excited. That's that's my own personal mission too now, is to just be aware. <laughs> um, all right, next one. We will learn of the fourth hero at Pro Tour. Now, as of today, m like new information has been dropped. Some of the slew thing that has been done where people have pieced together based on some pre-order material with question marks all over it that there is probably a fourth hero. Now, I, I literally wrote 2,000 words for Channel Fireball about what I thought would be a fourth hero and that I believed it was and I presented my evidence at the time. I wrote it like four or five days ago, it still hasn't published as of today, but I believe there will be a fourth one. You could think otherwise. I mean, this could just fizzle based on the fact that you don't believe there's a fourth hero at all. I think it resolves. I mean, like, if you had asked me a week ago, I would say this fizzles. There's no way there's a fourth hero. And in fact, when you did your first video talking about a fourth hero, I messaged you and I'm like, why? Why do people think there's a fourth hero? This doesn't make any sense to me. But like, there's all these little bits and you did a good job laying out the case. Like you, you referred to some interviews James did a while ago where he referenced a potential fourth hero in the set. And now I, I saw what you're speaking of, this 
I don't know what website it is, but there seems to be pre-orders for a set of four Blitz decks. And like, yes, that could just be a silly mistake, but now we have multiple pieces of evidence. It's all just starting to snowball a little bit. I, I think I'm a believer. I'm, I'm a fourth hero truther at this point. <laughs> Brian Gottlieb will sing at karaoke night. This is going to fizzle. <laughs> Here's why. I, I, you know, someday, Flake, you and I will get together and do karaoke. It'll be fun. When I do these events, I am wiped at the end of the day. And you young bloods, you go out, you have fun, you, you have some drinks, you have some dinner. I go to sleep. It's bedtime as soon as I'm done working. And if I hang out with you guys too late doing karaoke, I'll just be a mess. I need my rest, my beauty sleep. So I, I think this one's going to have to fizzle. With the possible exception that if people are sticking around after all is said and done, maybe we can start talking about some possibilities. I like that idea as well. That's not bad at all. Um, maybe we can just kind of, I might be able to coax it out of you midday during a broadcast. That, that's yeah, possible. just a quick karaoke break, sure. Why not? Uh, now, when you mention Youngbloods, uh, what is what is a Brian Gottlieb? How many rings are in that wood? Uh, we are rapidly approaching our 40th ring. I'll get my 40th ring this year. Uh, <laughs> gotcha. but I, am, I am presently 39 years very old. Well, at 36, I will absolutely be the young blood that you refer to. I will, mm -hmm. I will cling to that that falling star for sure. Like, if you knew how much I had degraded in the last three years, you'd understand. Don't tell me I that. Can, why I can call you young blood. Don't tell me that, please. It I already fast now. I, I already make noise when I get in and out of chairs. So that, oh, yeah. that's definitely an indicator. Yeah. Next, Next thing you start making noise is just existing. You're just going <laughs> to pop sometimes. Like, yeah. uh, okay. Uh, are you all right? Yeah, yeah I'm totally fine. Everything's yeah, great. Just existing. <laughs> um, there will be a missed tunic trigger on camera. This resolves. I mean, almost certainly. We're going to cover a lot of matches. The stakes are going to be high. The pressure is going to be high. The nerves are going to be riding high. All these things will combine to, at some point, force someone to miss a tunic trigger. One of our names, and this will include, we'll, we'll broaden the net here to include Tannen, um, Kellen, and Steven, uh, Armada, Red Zone, and I guess Tannen. That's his. Just Tannen. That's just Tannen. Uh, one of our names will be spelled wrong on the broadcast at one point. Yeah, this resolves. I, I'd say I have a very high potential for misspelling. Of course, I spell my name with a Y. Uh, it often pops up in various places with an I, so I could see that going down. My last name's a little confusing, so if they want to put that up there, that could be misspelled. I, I think I'm just like the torchbearer for this for the most part and likely to make this happen. Flake will make a Star Wars reference on the broadcast. This will definitely resolve, and I will definitely pick up on it as well. Yeah, that's a no-brainer. Whenever they do uh, Gwent major tournaments, they do like a they do a broadcast bingo based on you know whatever happens on the on the broadcast. And the I always tell them I'm like the center square is Flake makes a Star Wars reference. Mm -hmm. Like it's that's, that's the yeah. freebie uh, every time. Guarantee. Next one, there will be an undefeated player in Swiss. Now I did them. I'm not much uh, in terms of knowing this stuff. So I had to do the research and ask around to make sure that it was even possible that there can be no undefeated players. And based on the amount of rounds and the players registered, it is possible that there are, like, the top dog can be an X1. But will there will there will be an undefeated player at Swiss? Nah, this fizzles. It's very unlikely that someone makes it all the way through Swiss undefeated, just because of the way the pairings work. It it. It's near mathematically impossible because at some point, I think it's probably around round 12, we should run out of undefeateds, meaning the undefeated will start getting, the lone one undefeated, that's all there can be at that point, will start getting paired against X1s and X2s, and then they have to like beat two very, very high ranking players in a row who honestly have more to play for at that point. Like that doesn't really factor in to flesh and blood events the way it does with some other TCGs, but even still, it's just asking a lot for someone to go undefeated through the Swiss. I think you'd have to be so far ahead of the field. And if you talk to everyone about their testing process, nobody's that confident right now. Everyone's like, oh, I hate my deck. Maybe I can play this. I'm going to flip a coin. So I, I just don't see it happening. All right. Next one is going to be Tannen Grace has to mute his mic because he's laughing too hard. This resolves almost certainly. Again, this is another thing that I feel like 
I can have some influence over. You can have some influence over. We can just make sure this happens. So no Brandner. All right. Last one, Mr. Brian Gottlieb. A non-North American will win the Pro Tour. Pizzles. Pizzles. I'm, I'm, going, I'm going to stay strong with my North American roots. I have nothing but love and respect for the players from all over the globe. But I know, I know that any one of them can certainly take down this event. This isn't really about logic or skill. There are plenty of skilled players in all the other regions around the world, many of which are capable of winning this event. This is about strictly just being a homer and, and rooting for my squad from NA to take down the first ever Flesh and Blood Pro Tour. Well, that's a great, great uh, set of answers there, Mr. Brian Gottlieb. I get to see you in a few days. Uh, for those of you who are probably consuming this, it's maybe it's maybe Wednesday for you or just ramping up, but ultimately... Uh, I'm on a plane tomorrow. You're on a plane sh in short order as well. We will see each other very soon. I'm excited for this, man. And it, not just because it's flesh and blood, but because I get to get to hang out with my friends. And that's just what it's all about, my friends. So thank you for so much for being the first guinea pig for uh, our, our inaugural episode of The Stack. My pleasure. Can't wait to see you in a few days. And we are going to have a blast. It's going to be an awesome event. It will indeed. All right, friends. Thanks for listening. And uh, don't forget to support all of our things that we do over here. You can go to uh, patreon.com slash instantspeedpod. If you'd like to, there's many tiers to go ahead and give me a high five or a little bit more than that. So thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget, you're not losing if you're learning. We'll see you next time on whatever the hell is we do here.